it is day three of our little mini cut low carb diet that we did we had a photo shoot last week for XD Fitness and tomorrow we are filming a full band program so whether you purchase one band or the entire set you will get an entire band program complimentary of that purchase that way you guys can see all the different exercises that you can do with the band that you did purchase if you're interested it's bomerbands.com and we'll send those all of those out to past purchases as well and our diet's been kind of tough i mean it's been low carb so props to everyone who does low carb diets consistently it just it just takes time for your body to start burning ketones for energy because i mean that's if you guys don't know what that is it's basically just your fat and your body's starting to burn fat for energy instead of glycogen and carbs and all that fun stuff so that style of dieting most people give up before it actually gets into the real nitty-gritty goodies of, yeah. of, of low-carb dieting and the reason is is because at first your body doesn't like it so it's it fights you on it you know it makes you crave carbs it makes you do all this stuff but once it understands okay I'm not getting any carbs I got to do something different it's like, let's burn some fat, baby. And it just starts burning that fat. And then you will be surprised the mental clarity that you'll get, the, the energy levels, you'll be surprised how high they are. Um, you won't be hitting your uh, snooze button often. It's kind of weird. You would think having lots of carbs would do, do, the, do that for you. But honestly, a high fat diet will do that. Yeah. And um, again, you need a lot of carbs for building muscle. So we don't recommend doing this all the time. You know, that's why, Sarah and I are doing this, you know, you know, a few weeks at a time and then we're done. And then a couple weeks here, a couple weeks there. It's not something we do all the time. Yeah. And your energy will be low at first, which really does suck. You might get a weird taste in your mouth, those kind of things. But we are keeping our protein very high. We're keeping our fat high and just lower carbs. So that's kind of what we've been doing the past few days. Tomorrow we'll be back to normal because we will be filming our program at night. That way we refill our glycogen storage tanks, which Josh talked about a few episodes ago or a few videos ago we're gonna lift shoulders today also when you're on lower carb do not get discouraged if your pumps aren't as big as when you have higher carbs so you might want to lift you know like back or abs or things that where you no, don't necessarily want to see or need to see like that big pump but we're gonna try to lift shoulders today so see how it goes a little Bomar <coughs> Bomar team we Are have we like together we have like 45 minutes because then we have a massage at 10 30. tissue. Deep tissue massage at 10 30. We have like six hours left of massages to use up before the end of the year. Yeah, and we cause... called to get a six hour massage, but they said no. Okay, guys, tip for deep tissue. If you go in for deep tissue, you tell them, like, if I'm not screaming in pain, then you're not doing it hard enough. That's what you got to tell them. Because a lot of these massages are all about pleasure, but if you really want to take your body to new levels, gotta do deep tissue get all that nasty stuff out of there yeah and drink lots of water too so speaking of water we're gonna go work out do shoulders lift massage post office So trust me guys, when you try this for the first time, it will be very hard. So hard. <laughs> so, don't be discouraged. It takes a lot of muscles. 
to be able to control your body in that position. So keep your abs tight. Sarah's working on it. Check it out. Front raise and a lateral raise only go to your chin line. So it goes here, stop, here, stop. So whenever you go to the top, so you go front, side, front all the way to the top. Now when you come down, you're not really controlling it. Because if you do, it's going to be all on your rotator cuff. So you're more or less just letting the weight fall. So you come all the way up and kind of just relax. When you get down here, then what you're going to do is you're going to do a shoulder bomb all the way to the top. So it goes here, here, and then you traverse out and start over. So it goes front, side, front to the top, shoulder bomb. Reverse out. Front, side, front to the top, shoulder bump. Reverse out. Front, side, front to the top, shoulder bump. And if your arms start bending like this when you're coming up, you're using too much weight. So again, try to keep the weight you can control, the weight that you not as necessary max out, but you want to be able to do five reps in a row. Five, by five, meaning one full sequence is one rep. One, 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 one. Two, two, all the way through two to five. So it's, it's tough, but it's good. Workout is done, off to our massage. I'm having my egg whites. And here's a little pro tip for you guys. Keep your seasoning in a little baggie and then dump it on. That way it doesn't get all like weird and gross. We are off to get our massage. Had a really good shoulder workout. It was like 35 minutes because we were a little pressed for time. So when that happens, on. you do things that are extremely challenging. Yes. And big supersets, you get workouts done super fast. Yep. So we're off to our massage, then we have a few errands to run. Should be a fun day. And then target shooting. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna practice shooting our recurve. Yep, I'm gonna eat my eggs. Oh, those look yummy. I know, I know. Massage time. Have now, something else that you shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna take that now, okay? Thank you for finding it. I know, here, you can have a bow instead. You can have a bow. Go get the bow. So this is probably our favorite thing in our house. My mom got it for me last year for Christmas. Josh and Sarah are travels. Oh. And then we're gonna have a dot here when we go to Bali. And then we're planning an Alaskan cruise this summer. And then we're gonna have a few more over here in South Africa, or in Africa in general. Okay, so my next meal is one cup of rice and then five or six ounces of flat iron venison steak. I'm gonna add some of this. It's an Ohio native thing. I think you can order it online. And then a little bit of this as well. So we're home. We had to run a few errands. Um, I actually semi got ready to while we've been home. Went outside, shot our bows. We were gonna film it, but there's like construction going on. They're putting in 
like developmental properties like two miles away so they're running all these lines it's just horrendous outside so it wouldn't have really made for great footage as there's like construction vehicles going up and down the road and, and we're trying to shoot and all that stuff so we shot um did some emails got some work done and now we're actually going to find a gym for the arnold so last year we hold we hosted our first annual group workout during the arnold which is in columbus and this this year it's march 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Online it says the 2nd, but there's a lot more activities outside of the convention that actually start on the 2nd. So the convention is 3rd, 4th, and 5th of March. So our group workout will be the night of the 3rd, which is a Friday night. It'll probably, it will probably be around 7.30. That seemed to work out a lot last year for everyone. And last year we actually had 120 people come. We had to shut the RSVP down like a few days into signups, which was just incredible. However, the gym that we had um, booked, we had no idea that that many people would show up. So the gym that we had reserved really would only hold like 50 people. We made it work. We split the workout into two different groups. Yada, yada, yada. Our friends got engaged, which was really awesome at the end, um, which we had planned, which was just my heart my heart so this year we really want to find like a more warehouse style gym that way we can just work out and lift and have everyone going at the same time make it a huge circuit just a lot of different stations and really just put you guys through the workouts that we like to do every single day so that's on our list of things to do today go and visit a few of those warehouse gyms hopefully find one that will accommodate and work with us for that workout so and just so you guys know, um, any gym fees associated with this workout is strictly gym fees. We take zero money from this workout. This, this group workout is not intended for us to make a dime off of you guys, and that's not what we do. We, all the gym fees go straight back to the gym. We take zero, zero dollars from, from this workout. It's simply a way for us to get to interact with you guys in a different setting outside of the actual convention. So we would love it if you can come. I have a few um, Arnold like tips and tricks on different videos. If you scroll back through, I can link them here as well. That way, if you are coming to the Arnold for the first time, or if you just simply, you know, last year you were like, oh, I wish I hadn't driven. Like, oh, well, if you'd watch my video, you would know to just Uber from your hotel. So um, they actually give a lot of Uber discounts and stuff at, that as well for that weekend. So that will all be there. We will be at the Isolator Fitness booth this year for the Arnold. Come here. What are you doing? Are you ripping mommy's balls off of the tree again? Hmm? Hi, sweetie. Hi. What? You want a treat? You want a treat for being such a good girl? Is it pretty? Good girl. Ready? Go get it. This construction outside of our house is lovely. I know, it's kind of annoying. Can we go now, guy? Yeah. Leave our own house? Sweet! Yay, raise the roof, leave our own house. Men everywhere. Construction men. Too bad it's everywhere. not summertime, they'd be all shirtless for you. Their little overalls and construction hats. Be still my heart. Mm hmm. Get you a little construction yeah. eye candy. That's what I want. <laughs> off, off to find a gym for the Arnold workout. I think we found our gym for the Arnold. Lots of space. And we're off. Well, I think we found our gym that we're gonna use for the Arnold workout. Super excited. Looked big. Looked like we could probably get like 150 people in there. Pretty excited. Maybe 200. Maybe 200. If it was warm and the Arnold was not in March, we could do like 400, but. We're not gonna have you guys outside in 20 degree weather. So. I my vote was you guys to be outside, but yeah, Sarah doesn't. So I'm anyways. nicer. So yeah. Snow Can workout. Say? Make yeah. a giant snowman. Yeah. Snowball fight. We can have <laughs> snowball dumb snow snow dumbbells. Right. Yeah. That'd be funny. And we're off to the camera store. And how much weight one of those effect is because that zoom in effect. Mmm um, bay. Mmm bay. So we're carbon up again. So you guys are like, wow, you carve up a lot. <laughs> well, we're doing shoots, and tomorrow we're filming our band program. So we are um, absolutely going to carve up because we want to look full. Our muscles will be flat otherwise. I'm so flat right now. And the reason they're flat again is because 
our glycogen is being used up and our calorie deficit for energy. So glycogen is stored in the muscle. So whenever it deflates or whenever it's used, your muscle isn't as full as normal because obviously the capacity that the glycogen was taking up is now gone. So it, it gives you a shrinking effect. So we're gonna reverse that and give it an expansion effect. Science, bro. Let's go. Oh my goodness. However, still gonna eat fairly healthy. You have to hear me. I do. Cuts. Babe, you never gotta run. I really wanna run. It's so cold. You always run. I know, I really wanna run. Are we running? No, because there's that old lady up there. I feel like I'd take we'll her out. Her. I would take her out. Get out of here! Get out of here. We have cheesecake to eat. Josh is eating cheesecake. I don't know if I'm gonna eat cheesecake or just load up on bread. I'm gonna eat cheesecake for an appetizer. Cheesecake as a cheesecake salad. So just another cheesecake. And then probably have a so, dessert and get cheesecake. True life. When I when we used to live in California, they had these like everywhere and I would I, in my head I thought it was just gonna be like literally like a factory of cheesecake. Like they'd like come out on a conveyor belt. Which I think would be a lot cooler if they did. So if anyone's watching this that has any weight at Cheesecake Factory, make it happen. So we got Thai lettuce wraps for an app. What'd you get? We got a farfalle dish. Yeah. With nice. extra chicken, extra shrimp. I got a turkey sandwich and yeah, sweet potato fries. I'm not gonna eat all mine. I'm only gonna eat about half of this. Kinda eat the meat out of it. So as you guys can see. I left a lot of pasta. Sarah left a lot of french fries. And she's gonna finish her sandwich. And you can see we barely touched any bread at all. I have here. All right, so this is cookie dough. Cookie dough cheesecake. This is just regular old plain cherry cheesecake. Are we sharing? I'm gonna get about 99% you get a bite. Perfect. That's it. What's got there? A giant love sack. Just the cover. Just the cover. We wanted a fuzzy cover, so. Okay, so we parked literally the furthest way possible from the mall. Yep. Because we didn't think we were gonna buy anything. Nope, and then Josh saw the fuzzy love sack. It's not that heavy. Do you want me to carry it? We'll switch. Yeah, let's switch. Uh. Here. This is Sarah's. This is what she chose to carry. Loser! Oh my god! <laughs> you fell there. for it. <laughs> <laughs> Donut life for the morning, though. Okay, guys, this is my this is my box of donuts, and here's Josh's. So clearly, I am the better donut picker. I mean, there's no question here. Why are you already eating them? What? You're not supposed to eat those already. I'm not. I'm not eating any. Oh my God. Anyways, back to my donuts. Mm -mm. Gonna carb up for our program. Can we make programs all the time? Yeah. <laughs> and then just eat all the donuts and do all the things. <sighs> this smells so good. Guys, Meyer Donuts. You will not be disappointed. I'm not even lying. I love donuts. I go to donut places all over whenever we travel. Meyer Donuts, hands down. It's the most random Jesus. place, and they seriously, they're so cheap. Guess how much this donut is? 75 cents. 75 cents. Each donut, 75 cents. Just go there, you're welcome. Ah, it tastes seriously like it should be at least $1.50. $1. $1.50. At least. If not even a dollar seventy five. There's even like cream in there. Oh, calorie free cream. Calorie free, no carbs. I can't believe it. They have calorie free donuts. Yeah, but whenever you carb up, party people, take your guts, do that, do that thing, and then make sure you work out and also do the other thing and drink the water and the things. So. <sighs> Time 